Okay, so we're leaving Claymont. Had a good night with my friends Joe, Mikey, and Kevin. I drank a bit of it too much, truth be told. But anyway, back on the road, Claymont. Back to uh, around the around the bay to Gordon's Bay, and then inland back up towards Stellenbosch, back into the wine regions. Yeah, looking forward to it. Should be a nice ride. The weather looks great. Blue skies. Sea looks nice and calm. Yeah, let's have a nice ride.
we just come up the hill from Strand towards Stellenbosch. I can smell the wine, I can taste it. It was so hot today. Um, I think on my on the internet it says high of 37. And believe me, in the winelands when it says 37, it's 37, it really is. So I think I've got about another 50 k's to go, maybe 55. Yeah. And uh, when we get there, hopefully the guys are there. We've got a sound check today. Um, and then an Elvis Blue Geek, the Val de V, with some free wine. <laughs> the Helderberg Mountains. Just some free at a wine farm, one of my favorite wine farms. Beautiful, amazing valley it is. Oh, yesterday we had that nice cool air blowing off the off the Indian Ocean. We don't have that cool air today. <laughs> We're well and truly back in the mountains. It's gorgeous though, it really is gorgeous. But it's hot. So we did it. 600 Ks in five days. Cape Town to Cape Agulhas and, and back. Uh, wow, wow, went through some absolutely amazing places. Caledon, Napier, uh, Agulhas, Claymont, Hermanus, Franchuk, Franchuk Pass. Wow, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing ride. Um, can't believe I, I, I did it. Um, thanks to my wife for letting me do it. <laughs> um, I think, obviously, there's a big difference. I'm, I'm used to getting on my bike and riding as fast as I can. Um, and uh, this was very much different to that, uh, putting the, the big huge bags on the on the bike and with a lot of weight uh, and they do act as, as big sails really when the wind starts going that it really uh, stops you from going uh, fast at all and even going downhill. Um, uh, tips I would say make sure you eat, keep eating, uh, keep, keep yourself topped up at all times. Um, wind yeah, there's not really much you can do about the wind, is there? But uh, there is a site called windy.com, um, which is a great site, and it'll give you wind forecasts for the next few days. Um, it's not always right. Uh, sometimes it says the wind's um, with you when it's not, but uh, it, more or less it kind of gives you an idea of wind speeds and, and what to expect, <laughs> which is good because at least then you can plan ahead and think how long it's going to take you to get from point A to point B. Um, yeah absolutely absolutely loved it i would say um there's backpackers all the way and um, there's little guest houses very cheap you can find them on cheap websites uh, booking.com or airbnb and um just took my own sleeping bag really and, and the air bed so yeah you can use you can always get a bed somewhere cheap um yeah but just so get on your bike and get out there and do it it's absolutely fantastic i had the time in my life and yeah again thanks thanks to my wife for giving me the time to go and do it and hopefully she'll let me go and do another one soon um, and if I do I'll put it here on YouTube all the best cheers mm -hmm.